All right, hello everybody and welcome. Hey, hey. Uh, I'm here with Adrian. We Hi, are still watching the keynote, <laughs> but we figured we'd come on and start talking about some of the announcements. Um, we're going to have a couple of other things happening on the stream today, another announcement happening at noon, yep. uh, if the keynote is over. Uh, I'm curious, so what was your highlight of the morning? Uh, Cloud9. Yeah. Cloud9 was my favorite. I do love... Well, you're a Lambda. You're, you're the Lambda kind of uh, expert here and lover. Yeah. So There's I a mean, bunch of stuff, right? All of the Lambda announcements, we got 3 gig uh, function size. We got .NET 2.0, which, I mean, I'm sure that's going to be great for a lot of customers. Personally, I prefer the Golang announcement. I love um, it. So Golang and it's Lambda awesome. is going to be really super fun. I, I think it's been the most asked. Every time I talk about Lambda, it's like, guys, come on, can you support Lambda? Go. I, so it's, I it's spent great. a lot of time this year traveling through um, Japan, yep. and in Japan, uh, you know, the, the the person who created the Ruby language uh, is from Japan, okay. and so all of the Japanese, it's like, uh, go. They're, they're like, we want, go. we want Ruby, we want Go, yeah, like exactly. all these things. That was great. I think it's cool. Uh, for me, I, you know, I was really into uh, Noro Jones, uh, the chaos, uh, engineering. chaos engineering uh, ideas. I've been, I've always been following how Netflix does as well, chaos, you know, from the chaos monkeys and stuff. So you know, the, for me that was the highlight. And of course, Abby, she's, she was rocking the stage. I love Abby it. Abby did a great job. And uh, no, I think it's fantastic. You know, I, I love that they were women on stage. You know, that was great, and super smart women. So yeah, cool that's really, really cool. I so there, there are a couple of things that were announced yesterday that didn't really get a lot of keynote love or a lot of uh, yeah. love on even the Twitch That's stream. True. And I wanted to recap that one of those, which is T2 Unlimited. Yeah. Um, that was a pretty cool. Uh, hello, VPC peering between regions. Into region VPC I peering. I mean, uh, this, <laughs> this was a silent killer last night. Uh, just by the way, we are releasing VPC peering between regions. And then uh, this is insane. In it, even beyond that, API Gateway now with VPC integrations is pretty cool. Yeah. And oh, here's the really crazy thing about Lambda though, is you now have per function concurrency controls. Uh, so you can go in now and so previously you would have a support ticket that would go yeah. in and say, hey, these are this is the and amount the of concurrency. Money. Yeah. And uh, now it's per function. So I, I'm I'm pretty excited for the API Gateway VPC integrations just because it, it again makes your multi-region and yeah. Uh, your availability zone and That's right. uh, you know all of these different stories and, and security controls a lot easier to work with. What do you think about the concurrency? I mean, now we have concurrency per functions instead of per group of functions. The concurrency per function thing is going to be That's extremely right. useful for me. I have this thing called a selfie analyzer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, being a millennial, I take a ton of selfies. So the ninja, I, the exactly, yeah, that's the one, and yeah. so I immediately upload those selfies into S3. That triggers an event, triggers a lambda function. That lambda function goes and uh, calls out to recognition, collects some analytics, throws it in DynamoDB, uh, and if you run that with the rate at which I take selfies, which is 1,000 selfies per second, uh, it's very useful to have concurrency controls yeah. to throttle your lambda function. That's right. No, it's going to be. You're going to be probably building a lot of cool stuff with it. I, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm excited. Uh, actually, I want to go back to what Abby said on stage. Like, she said you can run containers with EC, ECS, EKS, or Fargate. But especially, she said the, the future focuses on unit of work and managed services. And I think this is really the power of the cloud, right? I mean, we, we came about 10 years now you know, from building very complex application. And you know, now it's like Lego bricks that you put together to, yeah. to, to build really cool stuff. You, know, you don't have to manage infrastructure. You don't have to worry about uh, scaling that infrastructure, making elastic. You just start building application and focus on that. What, what, what's your opinion? I mean, you have a love-hate love relationship with so containers, I, probably because you're serverless, <laughs> you're a Lambda guy. Here's the thing, right? Is containerization is something that lets people bring workloads that already exist into the cloud and then even move them out as yeah. needed. You know, it's, it's a perfect mutation. format yeah, for moving that. things around. But I do think that serverless will eventually leapfrog uh, containerization. And, and maybe there'll always be some need for containerization, but yeah. I think eventually serverless applications are going to be the future. Just, yeah. uh, I, I kind of agree with you. Uh, I, I still think there's big room for containers. I mean. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the immutable uh, uh, infrastructure paradigm that you put a container in your uh, laptop and it's the same in test environment, yeah, the same I, in stage, I love that same too. in production. Uh, 
you know, that's great. And, and you need to have an environment. So whether your Lambda function runs in an environment or in Docker container, I think they might actually live together. We don't know how, where the future is going. Great. OK, so uh, we're going to have some other people on stage now yep. uh, to talk about some new features. Yeah. I am going to let you stay here. I'm going to get off. Awesome. Uh, and I'll see you back in a little bit. See you in a bit.